What's going on everybody? Today here on Fix It Rick, we're gonna be replacing an antenna for a 2003 Toyota Celica. So what ended up happening was the antenna just snapped right off and the piece is still inside, inside that thing. And I tried drilling a hole, I tried getting in there and it just is not gonna come out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the whole unit and put a brand new antenna right in there. So let's fix it. Go ahead, you wanna open up your trunk. I don't know what to call this thing, but you wanna move it back there. So you can get into this compartment, remove the cover, and then you wanna get a Phillips head screwdriver, and you wanna unscrew this one little screw. It's, it's kinda difficult to get to. You gotta go from behind and then unscrew it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew this piece. Now, it's got these weird slots on them, but what I like to do, I like to get some needle nose pliers, put them right here, and then slowly unscrew it. Once you get it going, you can start unscrewing it and it'll come right off. Now go ahead and pull this down. To see we loosen this up, we can slide this down. You wanna aim it, pull it towards you, slide this whole thing right out. So what you wanna do next is you wanna grab this wire and then pull it right out so that this becomes completely disconnected. What we're gonna do next is we're going to put the new assembly into the hole and then make the connections in the back and it'll be brand new. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cable that has to connect to this little pin and slide it down the hole. And then you wanna pull the whole cable all the way through until you get to this piece. Then we screw the assembly screw right on top. The next thing you need to do is you need to take your antenna along with the little baggie of cores that come with it and you need to find the core that actually fits inside of the antenna base to the antenna because they're all different and it's just kind of a generic thing that they have here. So basically you're just looking for the one that fits here and here. Now that we've got our core, we're going to go ahead and put this one in first. Tighten it down by hand so you can't get it tight anymore. And take your antenna and twist that on. And all the antenna really needs is to be hand tightened. You don't have to crank it down with a, a vise or anything. Now we're going to take the other end of the antenna and we're going to connect it to the car. So take it, push it all the way in until it can't go in any further. Take all the excess. I like to use the little twisty ties that came with it. Go ahead and shove it back in there. Let's go ahead and take the cover and put it back on. Close it up. All right, now that we got our radio on, let's go ahead and hit the power button. See if it works. Okay, so that's how you fix a 2003 Toyota Celica radio antenna. If your antenna is busted and you want to use the same one that we just used, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you go ahead and buy it. Thanks for watching Fix It Rick. I love you. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below. And always remember that Jesus loves you and only he can fix your biggest problems. For the, for a 2000, no, don't do that. Fix a brick. <laughs> so just open it up. Not that hard. Can't do it. Oh, uh, part of it, like, yeah, I've recording. been recording. Oh, you've been, rec oh, you've been recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so awesome. I put my ice cream cone in front. It looks like you had an ice cream cone body. So you could only see your head. <laughs> Thanks for watching Fix It, Rick. I love you. Thank oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching Fix It, Rick. I love you. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below, and always remember that Jesus loves you and only he can fix your biggest problems.